Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing a Kilt Star. I see it's, it's a two in one haul, two items I've got about four weeks ago and I didn't do a video on it because I didn't see the point with it just being two. But I've done a small order and I thought I'll combine the one I got before with that. Now, there was a 40% sale on Kilt Star and I tried to avoid it the best I could. But then when you see other people jumping on the, the sale and what they grabbed, I thought, oh, there is something that I do want to get off there and I'll check if it's gone down in price. And it had gone down in price, massively gone down in price. There was also a creature that I wanted that hadn't been dropped because it was a new, it's a new drop. Um, and then I thought, well, I don't need it. I'll wait until it's dropped in price and but if it's still available, I'll grab it then. But I'm going to do this that arrived today. Obviously, I ordered this. This took a little bit longer than usual, and Killstar did email me and tell me that they had um, a flood in the, I don't know if they said in the warehouse, which means things were a little bit later in getting out. But to be honest with you, it's pretty the average time. I've, I've had to wait for it, not that long really. So that came, and then my items that I got a couple of weeks before, I thought I will just do them now and then they're included. But first I'm gonna start with the creature that I grabbed. Now, um, Aurora's Sanctuary, Aurora Cult Sanctuary, I know that she's grabbed this. Um, I think she saw it on my Instagram feed and she she said that she'd ordered it and I've just watched her latest Kill Star video today and she showed the bear on there. So if you wanna go and um, support Aurora Cult Sanctuary's page, I will link her I will link her in the description and obviously I would have popped her up here so you would have seen who she is. Now she's got this same bear and I, I had the same impression that she had at the beginning. I, was, I wasn't blown away by it, I didn't think it was really that cute but upon arriving and seeing it I fell in love with it and I absolutely love it. So guys, it comes in your usual, I've had creatures that have come before haven't been in the bag which is kind of unusual, I can't remember who it was. Um, can't remember which bear, Duality I think, didn't come in a bag. But this one's come in a bag. So it's a fair size bear. And I had to have this. I had to have Gothy because it's purple. And my favorite color, if you didn't know, is purple. So as soon as, as I opened it, I was like, oh. I wasn't too sure if it was a boy or a girl until I seen the little bat. It's got like a bat clip in the the little ear here, which is so bloody cute. Then the little spiky Emily Booth style bracelet. <laughs> Stripey Killstar jumper in purple and black. Um, she got another band on that side. And beautiful purple eyes. I love this bear. And it's got this little tuft of hair here. It looks like a little, little cow tuft, which little cows have. And it's got little rings in the ear. And here, I know Aurora said that people were taking these out and putting real gems in. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna wreck the bear. Um, I thought Zach may have grabbed it and started playing with it, but he's not interested in it, so that's good. The new bear that's coming out, that's come out, actually looks very much like this, but it's half blue, and uh, half purple and half black, and it's got like a wing, purple wing and a black wing. But the eyes and the feature of the bear looks very similar to this, and that's probably why I've not rushed to buy it. But I do love this one. Have I named her yet? Um, I named her Violet. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought I like Violet, so I've called her Violet. And I love her little tuft of hair. Cuddle-wise, guys. Yeah, she's cuddly. She's very cuddly, but I don't particularly sleep. I, I sleep with a cushion, guys. I like, like my Squishmallow because it's squishy. But I sit her on the chair with all the others. But as you know, I'm packing at the minute so I have actually it was packed away and I took it out of the box so I could do it in this video it says cute as hell and creature tag on the back and then it's just got washing instructions and so far on it there um, so yeah that is Violet guys and I'm going to put her back in the bag to keep her clean because with me moving I don't want her getting damaged or lost or dirty so I'm going to keep her in there now I paid the full price of $24.99 for this guys if that 40% is still on, which I probably, without a doubt, it won't be on now. Um, it did drop down to 17.49, so I thought that was good. But the one that's just come out now is 24.99. So that was that, guys. I had to have it simply because of the purple. I'm gonna take my glasses off just in case 
the light is reflecting back. So then I bought, I ordered this skirt, guys. I absolutely love the the other skirt that I got, which was my last Kill Star. I, I paired it up with a red sheen top. But this went down to a really good price. I think it went down to about £11.49, guys. In the last sale, I think it was 20% off sale that they had that time. The Teddy didn't have a, a sale on it because it was a new drop. But, yeah, I ordered this skirt and I absolutely love it. It actually looks like one of my old dresses. <laughs> like that short. I used to wear them that short. But it actually, it goes, crisscrosses. Right, that's the front, so that crisscrosses round and then just sits on your chest and this sits underneath your boobs. Very much like the other skirt that I got, the, I can't remember the, the name of that skirt. But this one is, it's got a lace basque all the way down. You can tighten this to your advantage, whatever you, you fancy. I've not actually tried this skirt on yet, guys. I've literally just put it in my wardrobe. Um, I'll probably just mess with this a little bit and tighten it up but it has that detail sorry guys visual reminder every Thursday at three o'clock morphine yep that's telling me that it's my morphine time which is good because this is doing my eddy I'm just gonna pull it off for now visual reminder every Thursday at three o'clock morphine okay now that's done at the back also it has this lace like rah rah effect which I absolutely love as well and it's quite stretchy I think it's the rayon material or maybe oh it's just stretchy LS vein but it is really stretchy now I am still buying the same size claws at the minute guys what size did I get for this one yeah I actually got an XXL I don't actually need to buy XXL anymore I'd be all right with an XL it's just a habit of me keep ordering XXL but It'll still fit, it's still quite a tight fitting. If it is too big, I will just tighten it at the back. But it's got this little lace rah rah effect at the front, and then it's just plain black at the front. But yeah, really stretch it. I do actually think the material of this, and there's the label so you can see that I've not actually took anything off. Let's see what it says on the label. It says, some people looking for a spooky place, others make a place spooky, i.e. Rachel. <laughs> um, I don't know where the, the sizing and everything is. Okay, so its fabric is 72% rayon, which I said rayon, 24% nylon and 4% LS 30 degree wash, cold iron, do not tumble dry, apparently it will shrink it or it will misshape in it, so don't put it in the, in the thing. It says iron on reverse, guys. Wash colours separately because it's black and it may run. And it's got a zip, guys, down the side of the skirt, so all the way down the side. Ben hates these type of zips. Whenever I say, can you zip it up, and it's these. I don't know why or how he does it. He always bloody breaks the little clip on the zip. So I'll try and do it myself now without asking him. But that was that guys, so that's what I ordered as well, which was a couple of... Now, one of the tops I've got in here was to go with that skirt and possibly go with the other skirt because the blouse that came with the other skirt, it was that like the army kind of thing. Um, I just I just didn't like the collar, the collar was here and it had leather patches, it was long sleeved. It just, no, nah, not my style, so I didn't bother getting that. But, <laughs> can't speak, a fair few, I've actually sold them on. But oh i love it so this is a velvet skirt guys it's actually got like a rose effect detail i've actually got a dress like this but it is literally just a rose it's a different kind of purple and there's a school design as well which is the same as the coffin bag so i do own the coffin bag which matches this skirt oh i love it it's got a very thick elastic band oh, i can't speak today elasticated waistband as you can see um as for the stretch in the skirt let me just see so it's yeah it's quite stretchy in the actual skirt itself not mega stretchy like that top is but it's still got a nice stretch it's actually laced all the way down in this crisscross basque effect all the way to the bottom this is already you can't tighten this or anything it's kind of built into the skirt and it's on the other side as well but i did notice i did notice something that had this this detail in I can't remember what it were and you can actually you can actually loosen it so you could show some of your leg 
yeah I think the one I've seen you can actually loosen it but I, I like it just to be left like that I don't want all my leg on show so guys this cost me £13.98 it's called the claret velvet midi skirt in plum I would have said this is more of purple than a plum a plum is usually a bit of a darker colour yeah claret midi skirt in plum and I got an XL because they did not have any XXL but I would have ordered an XXL just because I've got a big booty and I've got big hips so yeah there you go guys what would I pair this off with I've, I've, I've actually got I think it's a it's either a necessary evil or it's it's a kill star velvet top I would probably pair this off with a velvet top I do have some velvet tops that are purple but I think with this maybe black just to break up the purple so that was that guys I will try these on later on today and last but not least this is the top that I wanted to go with that skirt now I didn't particularly like this top at first they have a different version of this top I think they've got a, a really big sleeve version or a, a, I can't remember but I like this version now guys this actually cost me $13.99 this is the Siren long sleeve top and I got an XL I think I got an XL because they didn't have any XXL there was a reason behind me not getting my usual size again that paper stuck in between it and it's very sheer this top guys so you'd be best to wear either a, a crop top underneath here or preferably a black bra full a full cupped black bra I personally would probably wear a nice black bra with this um, rather than a crop top depending how confident I am but oh this is lovely so again it's the stretchy not as stretch it's kind of a firm stretch to this and it's cropped I think this guys yeah it's slightly cropped as well I'm starting to get into my crop tops now I've lost lots of weight on my, on my tummy and I'm getting a little bit more confident in wearing crop tops so it's high necked as well guys and it's like a it's a really nice high neck top as you can see the neck actually looks quite tiny and then it's a long sleeve and then it has this ruched oh look at that wide rah-rah kind of sleeve with elasticated wrist as well oh I love this guys I absolutely love it and this is the siren knitted top knit top oh now looking at the detail on this I reckon it has got some knitting in the design can you see the design of it now they do do this version like I said in a different style I think they've got a button-up shirt one in this but I like this one better it looked really nice and I think this with that top that skirt would look very flattering especially with the whole rah-rah design so that's that guys oh I like it this looks very nice I am going out on Saturday and I've bought some leather trousers that will be featured in another video somewhere along the line I don't know when I do not know when but I was thinking of maybe wearing this with my leather trousers because I just thought nice and cool not too not too wrapped up warm and not too you know revealing and I've actually got a jacket that I'm going to be wearing with this but there you go guys that is my kill star um, I will I will probably come back and tell you how I feel once they've been washed and so forth. I always sit and inspect my Killstar clothes once I've got off camera, but really I should just check them all. I think this top would possibly go nice with the skirt as well, guys. So I may just try them together, or maybe the other top with that skirt, but stay to the end. I will go and do a try on, and I'll give you a thumbs up in the video if I like it, or a thumbs down. Either way, you will know. Alright guys, take care of yourself, thank you for watching, stay to the end and I'll see you whenever I do another kill star. I'm not promising it'll be anytime soon. <laughs> take care guys, bye.
forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.